In today's video, we'll be covering IBA1 immunohistochemistry. IBA1 is a microglia-specific calcium binding protein that cooperates with G-protein ROC to regulate actin cross-linking. This leads to changes in microglia morphology that allow for proliferation, migration, and phagocytosis. To start the staining procedure, retrieve your tissue from its long-term storage. We are using 50 micrometer wrap brain sections. In the next step, we will be using 1x PBS or phosphate buffered saline, which is an isotonic buffered salt solution used to wash cells, remove unbound reagents, and increase the clarity of your stain. Add approximately one milliliter of PBS to each well insert of a 12 well plate. Then carefully transfer your tissue from its long-term storage to the PBS filled well plate and place on a gently rotating belly dancer for five minutes. Post incubation, transfer wells into a new clean 12 well plate and repeat two more washes with one X PBS to meet a total of 15 minutes of incubation time. Remember to wash your plates with clean distilled water between transfers. In this next step, we will be adding approximately 2 milliliters of blocking buffer to each well in order to prevent non-specific binding of the primary antibody. To make the blocking buffer, you will need 500 milliliters of 1x PBS for dilution, 0.5% Triton X which will act as a detergent to increase cell permeability, and 3% normal goat serum to reduce noise caused by non-specific binding of antibodies. Make sure to mix your solution well by inversion, and once added to your tissue, incubate plates at room temperature for two hours. After the blocking step, retrieve your samples and transfer your tissue to a new clean 12 well plate in preparation for treatment with the primary antibody. To make the primary solution, you will need a one in 1000 dilution of rapid anti-IBA1 into the previously made buffer solution. You can then add approximately one milliliter of the antibody solution to each well before incubating plates at four degrees Celsius for a span of 48 hours, thus completing day one and day two of our protocol. To kickstart day three of protocol, retrieve your tissue from its primary incubation and perform three more five minute PBS wash steps as detailed in step two of this video or as summarized above. After completing the PBS washes, transfer tissue to a new plate and add approximately one milliliter of secondary antibody solution to each well. To make the secondary solution, you will need to perform a one in 500 dilution of biotinylated goat anti-rapid secondary antibody in the previously made blocking buffer solution. Once treated, the samples can be incubated at four degrees Celsius for two hours. Post-secondary incubation, complete another set of PBS washes, this time with 10 minutes between each transfer, as outlined above. In this next step, we will be using the Vecta Stain Elite ABC Horseradish Peroxidase Reagent Kit from Vector Laboratories, which includes reagents A and B. The ABC complex is formed by the protein avidin, which binds to biotin on the secondary antibody, and also to a horseradish peroxidase enzyme. To make the solution, you will need to add two drops of reagent A and two drops of reagent B for every five milliliters of blocking buffer solution. Post preparation, the ABC complex solution must sit for 30 minutes at room temperature. Once ready, add one milliliters of ABC complex solution to each well in a new plate and then incubate the sample at room temperature for 30 minutes. Next, complete another set of 10 minute PBS wash and transfers. We will now be using reagents 1, 2, and 3 from the STAB substrate kit from Vectastain Laboratories. DAB, or 3,3-diaminobenzidine, is a chromogen that is oxidized by horseradish peroxidase to form a brown precipitate in IBA1-positive cells. To make the DAB solution, add 2 drops of reagent A, 4 drops of reagent B, and 2 drops of reagent C for every 5 milliliters of distilled water. Then, working under a fume hood, transfer the tissue to a new plate and add one milliliter of dab solution to each well using a transfer pipette. You may use a paintbrush to gently agitate tissue and ensure an even stain. The sections should take between one to five minutes to change color from a translucent cream to a toasty brown. Immediately after developed, transfer slices into distilled water and let soak for five minutes before transferring into 1x PBS. If the stain is performed correctly, your tissue should now be ready to be mounted, cover slipped, and imaged. We hope you have a gleeful time visualizing your microglia. <laughs>